Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The market did a turnaround during the uptrend, and it was well illustrated by the fact that on, what was that day, Thursday, after trading positive, they turned it around and did an evening star signal. And notice where they used, a, or what they used as a resistance level, the 34 EMA, which works relatively effectively. Right here, right here. And you can see overall we're in a downtrend and now they're trading back below the T line. Today, the Dow was down further, was indecisive, but this makes for easy trading tomorrow. If they open this market lower tomorrow, the doji rule says we're heading lower. Now, the difference is we were heading down and up to the top of the channel, down, up to the top. Well, it didn't get to the top of the channel, it means the sellers came in. That's usually an indication that this force right here to the downside is probably gonna breach this level, meaning we could be in a wave one, wave two, wave three of a J-hook pattern, illustrating or indicating more downside. Same thing with the NASDAQ. Failed right at the 34 in this downtrend. Today it did a doji. If it opens lower tomorrow, again, your stochastic's heading lower. Your first logical target is down here to the, uh, the lower trend channel, which implies you've got a few more days of bearish trading and then watch to see whether this also goes into a wave one, wave two, wave three breaching this level. So this makes for very good trading. Apple did the exact same thing. Notice it did an evening star signal, failure at the 34 and a close below the T line yesterday that popped up a little bit, but today they gapped it down below the previous day's open and did a doji. If they open this lower, next implication is the bottom of the trend channel. If it opened positive, you wouldn't do anything with it, be a sideways trader. And we can add all the elements we can see to improve our probabilities of being in the right trade at the right time. Notice Herbalife in a strong downtrend, came back up smack dab to the 50 day moving average, did a bearish engulfing signal. We recommended shorting this because essentially we got a wave one, wave two, where we can see exactly where they started selling again, going into a high probability wave three. So that bearish J hook pattern is our recommendation on electronic arts. Notice when they tried to pop it up, they couldn't get through the T-line and then started selling it back down through what had it been a support level, meaning wave one, wave two, going into wave three. There's a gap to fill right here, which could be your next logical target. AMAT, same scenario. Evening star signal, failure at the T-line. If this opens lower tomorrow, you got a bearish doji sandwich, implying more downside, implying Wave one, wave two, bearish J hook pattern, wave three. So every time we see a resistance level and you see a strong sell signal, our recommendation on BPMC was based upon this bearish flutter kicker signal, one of your strongest reversal signals, right smack dab at the 50. Next target, we're anticipating down here at the bottom of the channel. So we're predominantly short obviously in a downtrending market. But if you're looking for long positions, there are still very strong bullish trades. They're few and far between, but AWK, if it opens positive, you got a bobble breakout, at least your first target is probably back up to this level. And then wave one and wave three, potentially taking you up to the 200. So right now, as long as you're trading below the T line, the assumption is, this downtrend is in progress. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.